I'm going to talk to you now about basic form for a pop song. And there are many ways you could go with this just based on the song that you're playing or the style of music you're playing. But we're going to just sort of just talk about a generic pop song right now. Typically what you're going to find is you're going to have sort of an introduction uh, and then you're going to sort of get to the body of the song. And the body of the song usually comprises of a verse, uh, normally a pre-chorus and a chorus. And that usually happens a few times, usually twice. After the second chorus may come a bridge or some sort of a solo, like a guitar solo or a keyboard solo or piano solo, even a vocal thing. And then oftentimes it returns back to another verse or a pre-chorus, usually ends in something called a double chorus where the chorus happens twice and typically ends after that. That's your usual form for a pop song. There of course is many variations and ways to get in and out of that, but that's a good place to start. From a drumming perspective, it's up to you to outline how that works. Each section has a certain amount of bars that you play, eight bars is typical, sometimes four bars is typical, and what you would do is vary what you play depending on the section. A lot of times in a verse what you're going to find is you're going to play like a tight hi-hat and a standard easier, lighter groove. When you get into a pre-chorus, it might pick up a little bit and go into a looser hi-hat or maybe even perhaps the ride cymbal. And then when you get into a chorus section, you'll probably go to the ride cymbal and come off the pattern that you were doing before. While this is going on, you're outlining the sections with four bar phrases, fills, crash cymbals. What I'll play for you right now is a four bar phrase in each section. I'm going to start with a standard pattern on a closed hi-hat, go to a little bit of a busier or looser pattern for a pre-chorus, and finally end up on a pattern for our chorus on the ride cymbal with maybe some left foot action in there. And I'm going to start with some easy grooves and some easy fills to work up into the end of the section. It'll sound something like this. One, two, three, four. And that's just the general outline for a verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. In a regular song, you might get more sections, you might get longer sections. But that's where you want to start with how to build ideas through a song and complement the music. Mm -hmm.